We have begun our Lenten journey. We have celebrated Ash Wednesday, albeit in a unique way. Uh, we have begun our practices of prayer, of fasting, and almsgiving. We have fasted and abstained already, and we will do so again uh, on Fridays of Lent and on Good Friday. And we will enter into a relationship, a journey with the Lord in a particular way in this Lenten season. And Jesus sets the tone from the outset. If anyone wishes to come after me, he says, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Notice the wording. Take up his cross daily. Not when we get around to it. Not when we feel like it. Not eh, once a week, every couple of days, you know, on maybe Fridays I'll do it. No, daily we take up our cross. And that's not just a pronouncement for the Lenten season, but for all seasons, all times, all days. All days that we journey with the Lord, which is every day. But this Lenten season certainly lends itself to that penitential directive to take up one's cross and to follow the Lord. He who took up his cross willingly, lovingly almost, uh, and did so with the love he had for all of us and has for all of us. And it is this love that called him to overcome uh, the fear of uh, death uh, that we might have in our humanity, uh, that fear of uh, taking up one's cross uh, of doing the hard things and uh, of engaging in prayer, of fasting and almsgiving in a penitential way, uh, sacrificing so that uh, we might have uh, a deeper relationship with the Lord, a fuller relationship with the Lord, and we might be uh, prepared to truly celebrate the Easter mysteries of his passion, death, and resurrection, and to really appreciate uh, what Jesus did for us on the cross by taking up our cross daily and following the Lord. As a people of faith, we recognize that this taking up of one's cross will indeed help us to save our life by losing it. Uh, and again, there's that paradox of you know, whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. And uh, it makes no, it is no profit to us as Christians to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit ourself uh, and our relationship with the Lord, because that's why we're here. We're here to build our relationship. We're here to deepen our relationship. We're here to live fully our relationship each and every day with the Lord who calls us into relationship who calls us into newness of the life, who invites us to follow in his footsteps, even the footsteps to Calvary, especially the footsteps to Calvary in which that self-sacrificing love of Jesus Christ was made evident, was made real, and was made profoundly ours. Uh, as we uh, stand at the foot of the cross, we recognize that that cross that we take up is uniquely our own. You know, we cannot take up another's cross. We might be, at times, like Simon of Cyrene, called upon to help one carry their cross, but the cross that we carry is uniquely our own, uh, unique to our own standing, our own state of life, our own place of where we are on the spectrum of, our rela of a relationship with the Lord. Uh, and so this cross that we carry is uniquely our own, and uh, in this uniqueness, uh, we recognize that although it is ours to carry, we do not do so alone. Uh, we walk with the Lord who enters into uh, that relationship when we take up our cross, when we seek to follow him, when we strive to follow him, and when we focus on following him, uh, giving up our own life and living the life of Christ, living our life in union with Christ. That's what it really means to lose one's life for Jesus' sake, is to 
you know, take on uh, his life uh, and to make it our own uh, and in a unique way uh, that only Jesus can do uh, to help us sustain uh, this relationship by the power of the Holy Spirit. And it is through that power of the Holy Spirit that we are able uh, to uh, live our lives of faith, taking up our cross daily and following the Lord. Uh, as we move through our Lenten journey, let us come to recognize uh, the opportunities God gives to us to deepen our relationship with the Lord, uh, to engage in acts of prayer, of fasting, of almsgiving, of uh, self-sacrificial -sac self love, to lose our life, to put our life second to the Lord's, second to our brothers and sisters, and to offer ourselves as gift to the Lord and as gift to our brothers and sisters. May we recognize that in the suffering and death of Jesus Christ, he knows what it means uh, to uh, live a life of self-sacrificial love uh, and that we are called uh, to emulate that life. May we as a people of faith take up our cross daily and follow the Lord.